highly acclaimed KBS, a flavored stout, is good for everything. A flavored stout ought to be good for ale brewing with chocolate and coffee aged in oak bourbon barrels. Welcome back to the Tapping Out Show. My name is Jeremy, this is Matt, and we're going to do KBS from Founders. This is actually a vintage of 2014. Yeah, look, we're going to have to man up on this one, so... Yeah. Matt's been ducking us for a quick minute. I think this has been in the fridge for at least three tapings. <laughs> we, we, we've uh, aged it a little bit more. Aged it further than it already since, has since you brought it over. We like Founders. I mean, it, it Founders does a, a quality product just because you know they're one of the original crap breweries. Like they make good stuff. This is more up your alley, though. So it has vapors. You can definitely smell the barrel. It's uh, it's not too strong comparable to some stuff we've had though. It's not even see through. Um, Motor oil kind yeah, of. Yeah, uh, this is not powder. even W forty. This is just dark. There is no carbonation in this whatsoever. There's like bubbles on the corner. There's nothing really else to it. Yeah, there could be uh, uh there could be diamonds in there. You wouldn't know. It's dark. I mean, I can smell the malt and I can smell the booze content from the barrel, but that's pretty much all I smell. Cheers. It's thick. It burns a little. It's bourbon barrel aged. <laughs> all right. All right, so let's, let's start it in this way. I'll start it because it's my, more of my thing. You're into bourbon barrel aged imperial stouts. You're expecting a few categories. You're expecting high alcohol. You're expecting a little bit of a burn, and it's going to be thick. I think it covers those categories. Aging it didn't really change the hop content. It's still pretty bitter. I mean, I'll try it again, but I, I want to say it didn't really drop off a lot of the hop on it. It's still bitter and heavy and thick and malty at the same time and a lot of booze right i yeah. mean am i missing that by any means like it's it's it, it's exactly what you expect from this kind of beer um i would say not as rough as as i expect it to be um so like i said people love or hate this beer all right so let's do this so for an imperial barrel aged 11.2 percent stout if you're gonna rate this between one and five, what would you give it? 3.75, four, somewhere around there. Well, I'm gonna say that you're being kind of generous. Um, we'll see, I, yeah, I, was thought I, I thought you were gonna fight me the other way, so I just wanted to this is, see if we're on the same page. No, this is usually my, my thing, uh, and I love Founders beers, I do. So like a three and a half more? Uh, I'm going about 3.25 actually. And this is, it's funny because this has the makings of everything you'd think I'd love. And he probably, that's why he thought he was going to fight me on it. But it's, it's boozy, but not in a good way. It's barrel aged, not in a good way. And it's kind of tart. Like it's it's a little. Yeah, one thing that's not in this beer's favor is it does have a reputation behind it, so you expect yes. you expect a little more out of it. Um, I, but see, the thing that I, I mean, for me, what I would I wouldn't if I want to get a Founders beer, I'm not looking for something like this anyway. So like the kind of stuff that we get from them is good uh, because it's more what I'm into. And I've had other yeah. barrel aged KBS. That's my yeah. point. So I've had a 2012, 13, 15. And not obviously 14 I, I I'm not into it and that and that's not saying that they didn't make a quality product and I'm not saying that well, are, are you tapping out or you just don't like it 
I just don't like it. I don't know. It's hard to drink, and uh, it's strong, and you know, it's it's not fun. You know, and right? That's, no, that's that's, that's but that's my point because because it's aged, so this should have the things that make this not good yeah. should not be in this beer. Yeah. It should have already fell off. It already made it smooth and chocolatey and yummy and everything. It's well, not. Well, it doesn't have vanilla notes or, you know, cocoa nibs or coffee or, or something like that where maybe, or maybe it does and we're just not catching it because, you know, I'm just not getting any of that. I just get booze. Yeah, and, there, and there's some what we've done just like this and some people, you know, they, they might think that we're being little crybabies and, and, they, and they want more alcohol and they don't want none of that flavor. So, you know, that kind of depends on what you're chasing. But if you're looking for that, you know, just bitter, strong, high alcohol, just man up, you know, kind, kind of deal, this is going to be right up your alley. So, let me figure about three and a half out of five. I mean, 3.25 out of five. What's what's the what's the what's the combo between the two of us? I'm, cause I'm, I'm I'm not I'm not a fan. And you know what? I love Founders beers. I love this beer actually. I just, this this particular one is not. I'm just not feeling it. Um, I mean, I could feel comfortable going three and a quarter. I mean, that's where you want to go. Uh, so three point two five out of five out of Tapping Out Show. Hey. If you guys don't like the way we rated this or you think there's a better vintage, let us know. Uh, email us on anything. It's info at tappingoutshow.com. Um, social media is all one word if you Googled it, and that's uh, Tapping Out Show. Besides that, um, we're going to finish these just because it's the last beer of the night. Yeah. Yeah.